group model Emily here and I am so excited to share with you guys today the November mini pretty club. I had so much fun putting this together for you guys picking some of my absolute favorite root products and just creating a box that you guys would have so much fun with. So let's dive in and unpack what we got this month. Let's start with our skincare sample this month, the unreleased Blue Tansy and Neroli Vitamin Face Cream. I love this face cream. This face cream pretty much does it all. It is great for acne prone skin, dry skin, aging skin, getting rid of fine lines, giving you a glowy complexion. This is the Wonder Jar here. So this is a part of the Skin Bliss line and I hope you love this as much as I do. The full size makeup product that I picked for you guys this month is Pursuit Eyeshadow. This has been a long time favorite of mine. The color is so beautiful. I wear it year round, but especially as we're moving into those colder months, I think this brown plumish purple is amazing. It is also really, really versatile. It is great as an eyeshadow. You can do a really dramatic look with it all over the lid. I use this as a liner all the time. It is also, surprise, a really great lip color. For samples this month, I picked Mary Eyeshadow. I have fallen head over heels for this neutral color. It is perfect to start any look with. It is a nice neutral brown shade that you can use as a transition color. It works well with both warm and cool tones. And it also can be a, just a really quick out the door look using this. So Mary Eyeshadow has quickly stolen my heart and is pretty much an everyday shade for me. Cassandra Blush is a color that I have been using pretty much from the very beginning. My own personal pan of Cassandra, I have hit pan, so that tells you how much I love this color. This is perfect as an eyeshadow. I use it a lot, actually probably more often as an eyeshadow than a blush, but it is also a matte color, so it is perfect for, again, eyeshadow, but also with the blush, if you didn't want a shimmery blush, this is great. Also a really pretty lip color. You know I could not curate the November Mini Pretty Club without including November Blush. This rose gold blush is such a beautiful pigment. If you don't have this in your personal collection already, this is going to become one of your favorites. I love it as a blush. I love it as an eyeshadow. I love it as a lip color. If you haven't noticed, I really, really like products that are super versatile. You can also buff this out if you want to have more of a satin look, or if you want the shimmer patting it on, you get the full effect of how beautiful this shade is. The last sample that we have this month is Marsala Pretty Balm. I love Pretty Balms. Pretty Balms are easy. They are great to throw in your purse. They are great to layer. And Marsala is such a beautiful color on its own, but it's also great for creating custom colors. This shimmery, barely there pink is perfect if you want a really light neutral lip. Or as I said, you can use this to create any custom color by adding any other pigments on top. And it is also a very beautiful illuminator. All right, my base and my brows are applied. So now let's jump into the fun part. Let's jump into the makeup. So the first sample we are going to be diving into today is Mary Eyeshadow. And we're gonna be using this as our bronzer today, you guys. This is the perfect bronzer shade. So I'm just gonna take a little bit from the pod and kind of tap some of here into the lid. Uh, especially when I'm using samples for face products, I like using um, a bigger uh, container so that you can kind of control how much goes onto your brush and you don't get quite as dense of um, product on your brush when you're applying it, especially when you're applying, like I said, the face products, but you could just go ahead and go straight into the pod or into the lid. But isn't this a beautiful, bronzer shade. Now we're going to go ahead and start on our eyes and the first color that we are going to be laying down is Cassandra Blush. Also one of my favorite eyeshadows. I've had this 
gosh, just since I was beginning to be a Root customer, it's been one of my favorite shades. Actually, fun fact, when I was doing the model competition in 2017, this is one of the colors that came into my model pack, so I had to do a look with that. So that's also just kind of fun um, using colors that I've been using for so long. So I filled up my uh, number 14 flat fluffy brush, and we're just going to go in and lightly apply this here in our crease nice and light and we're going to buff that color out because this is going to be our transition shade kind of the base that we build everything else up from okay now we are going to be using november and this is one of those shades i just want to wear everywhere when i first got it i wore it on my lips my cheeks my eyes all in the same look because i just can't get enough of november so i'm going to clean off my number 14 brush and we are going to take this all over the lid i'm going to build here for you guys um, kind of a look that you can take in a lot of different directions here so again loading up my number 14 and we're just going to place this right all over the lid and this is also a great shade if you wanted to kind of get a little bit more shimmer and a little bit more punch you can apply this wet um, just dampen your brush and it's just amazing here so all over the lid and just pack it on i'm doing more of a dabbing motion so i can retain more of the shimmer in the color. If you wanted it to be a little bit more satin and not have as much shimmer, you could do more of a wiping motion. So this is what I would call our base eyeshadow look. So you can take this into a lot of different directions. You could take Pursuit in the outer corner and do a really pretty kind of sultry eye, take it under the lower lash line. You could also just throw it on as a simple eyeliner today with a little pretty mist and make that a wet liner. But we're gonna keep it a little bit more simple today because I'm going to be doing a bold lip. So to finish out the colors here, I'm going to take Mary again, and I'm going to put it on our number 18 angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna take that under the lower lash line and just a little bit of color. If you wanted to add a little bit more definition on top, you could also go ahead and add this and smudge it in the upper lash line. I always like to add just a little bit of shimmer and shine to the inner corner. So this stuff is totally optional, but if you did happen to pick up sugar, which was one of the add-ons for this month's mini pretty club, I'm going to go ahead and go in and add this just to the inner corner here. This adds such a nice pop of light. The last step for the eyes is to add your mascara. I already applied one coat of our 100% lash mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and add my second. I love big bold lashes. So I'm a girl that applies two, a lot of times three coats. And this is great because it does not clump. Super buildable. Now this wasn't included in your box but if you don't have it, you definitely need it. And if you are a root addict, I'm sure you have this in your collection already. Time to move on to our blush. I am going to be using November. Perfect, really for any time of year, but especially this time of year, this rose gold is such a beautiful, beautiful tone. For our illuminator today, I'm going to be using Marsala Pretty Balm, such a beautiful tone for an illuminator. And I just took a little bit out of the pod and I am going to just kind of dab it on my finger and go ahead and dab it on the high points of your face where you want that beautiful glow. I am also going to apply Marsala to my lips. 
This is great on its own, or you can definitely play around with any of the pigments that are in the box. All of them make great lip colors. Also, if you got the add-on with Emily lipstick, also would look amazing and bring a bright punch of color. But we have one color we haven't used yet today. I have not forgotten about Pursuit. This is what we are going to be using as our lip color today. This is a really fun fall lip. So I have some tapped out here into my lid and I'm gonna put it on my finger and we're gonna top that Marsala. So like I said, Marsala is a really great base for doing any custom lips. lip that just adds a little bit more drama to this look. You could have totally left it with the Marsala, but I love, I love a good bold lip, especially this time of year. And this is our finished look. I absolutely love how this turned out. This might be my favorite look from the box, but honestly, I think I see that every single time. I hope you have as much fun as I did playing around with these colors. I tried to make sure that you had a lot of products that you could use in really versatile ways and get super creative. So be sure to tag us at Root Pretty with all of your looks. We definitely want to see them. And if you're interested in following along on my personal page, I will be creating some tutorials for the month of December to make sure that you get the absolute most out of this box. See you next time, guys.